Okay, sorry about that video before, I just forgot that I had an extra five minutes, so I cut the video at the end. So, we're going to continue where we left off last time and do this last part again. So, we just want to prove that this finds the longest length, which is AG. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a triangle. It's going to be A, B, C. So that's finding this length here along the bottom. A, C. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply Pythagoras' theorem, which says this. So, the problem is here we want to find C. So let's find out how we're going to do that. We don't know what these lengths are, so we're just calling them A, B and C. And you just take them, so that's A squared. That's just going to have to be A squared. And this is B squared. And that's equal to C squared. So this C squared, we're going to make another triangle here. And this one's going to be A, C, G. From Pythagoras, we know that A, C, this length here, is A squared plus B squared. So this length here is A squared plus B squared. And this length going up, we're going to call that C squared, C squared. And then we want to find this length here. So, using Pythagoras then, we're going to have AC squared plus CG squared is equal to AG squared. Because these are the lengths here, that's AC, that's CG, this one's AG. AC is A squared plus B squared. CG is C squared. And that's equal to this length which we're going to call D squared. And then to find D, all we do is square root both sides. So therefore D is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared plus C squared. Which is the formula we started with up here. So, that's the proof.